friends this is fecomel's vacation of a heart cataract let us see how the surgery went on this is the main incision 2.8 millimeter now one side port is made on the right side of the main incision another side port is made on the left side of the main incision these side ports are about two and a half clock hours away from the main incision now I'm going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye and I apply the dye underneath an air bubble here is the dye tripan blue 0.06 percent now I'm going to use a bit of adrenaline to keep the people dilated the people has dilated quite adequately in this case but it is not fully dilated and in heart cataracts if the if the people is not fully dilated and if it tends to become small during emulsification of nuclear fragments we must use iris hooks or any other people expansion device now after applying adrenaline the people has dilated a little bit more and it is adequate now this is modified soft shell technique this is viscoat from alcon and underneath this viscoat i am applying spmc instead of sodium hyaluronate so two dispersive viscoelastic substances has been used now I'm going to do capsulorexis and in hard cataracts I always do a large rexis. Here it is. I'm going along the pupillary margin to get an adequate size to rexis of about six millimeter or six point five millimeter. This large rexis will help me in prolapsing the nuclear fragments and it will help in preventing posterior capsular rent. There will be no fluid buildup in the capsular bag because of this large rexis. Now I am doing hydro dissection. Now I am doing hydro dissection and the nucleus has been nicely mobilized. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. Now, in this case, I am going to try direct chop. Direct horizontal chop. And I call it submarine chop. Because I go into the substance of the nucleus, I travel through the substance of the nucleus. To the opposite equator and I use my chopper near the other equator and try to crack the nucleus. In this case I didn't get a complete crack and here this is another chop and in this case I got a nice crack. And now I rotate the nucleus, come back to the first chop site, sculpt, and this is the other heminucleus, bigger heminucleus. I am going to divide it into three parts. This is the first chop, and this is a nice fragment, and this fragment has become free from the main mass and this is the other bigger piece of the hemineucleus and it is divided into two halves and now I am going to emulsify these three fragments 
these three fragments are free and I'm going to emulsify and remove these fragments the people is remaining adequate sized though it has become little smaller than when I did capsulorexis however no people expansion device is required if the people remains of this size so on heminucleus has been managed and this is the other heminucleus and it is not fully divided into two parts so I go from the apex and I cut the bridge between these two fragments and then I emulsify each fragment that's it the nucleus has been nicely managed in this case I have used Oatly Catrix 3 FECO machine FECO power used is 85 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury now there is very little cortical matter in this case and I'm going to and this, see there's a little cortex little lens matter in the side port it has been removed now this cortical matter is being removed using a Simco cannula one can use a bimanual IA or a coaxial IA for removal of this cortical lens matter. That's it. The cortex is removed. There's some cortex at five o'clock four o'clock that is also removed and in this case after injecting viscoelastic substance I'm implanting a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens this is a multi-piece hydrophobic intraocular lens from about medical optics AMO and it is called sensor multi-piece intraocular lens no financial interest after implanting the IOL in the capsular bag the viscoelastic substance that has been used for implanting this IOL is thoroughly removed I go behind the IOL and remove the viscoelastic substance from the capsular bag So after thorough removal of viscoelastic substance, the case is done. I just have to hydrate the side ports, all the side ports, stromal hydration of the side ports so that these wounds become waterproof. Now a final wash is given with BSS the antichamber is formed and the case is concluded. Hope this video will help you in managing your hard cataracts. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you once again.